was the most important in the entire network just because it faces United States of America through the North Pole. It was supposed to inform Soviets about the American missiles. The country had three facilities and there was no need to have more of them because they had to be really powerful. The range of each radar was up to 9,000 kilometers. So the plan was to place few radars facing different directions to be able to wrap with their signals the entire planet. This radar faces north towards USA. It covers the most important direction for Soviet Union the USA from where they were expecting missiles the most. Another radar faces east, where China and Japan are located, countries that were growing economies, that were increasing their military potential, and those radars had to send signals this way. This radar, while it was still working, uh, got the nickname Russian Woodpecker just because in the early 80s, after one of the modifications, radars started to interfere the work of civil aviation and the work of European trade ships. It was making sharp tapping noises that were appearing from nowhere and that were disappearing the same way. And after none of the countries confessed who is doing that or what's the source of those noises, it was decided to ask NASA for help to find out what's that and where is that from. A NASA satellite had to fly around the uh, planet and photograph all the suspicious things they had to discover on its surface. After they photographed these antennas, NASA representatives called to the Soviet Union to find out what's the purpose of this giant metallic construction in the middle of the forest. But Soviets, they couldn't say, yes, guys, this is our radar, we're putting in danger, your people excuse us. They had to create some story, it was decided to lie. And guys from NASA were told that these fanas are used as help to Soviet TV stations. Guys from NASA were not stupid, even uh, though they didn't know that in the Soviet Union back then there were just three TV channels and three radars. The only reason why they couldn't state that this is the radar and you guys please stop using civilian frequencies for military purposes was lack of proofs. While they were looking for more proofs, the accident happened, the radar was turned off and only in the 1990s when this place became more or less available, when it became more or less discovered, it was confirmed that this is the uh, thing creating those noises and it was nicknamed Russian Lutak.